and welcome. I am Civilian, and this is Dwarf Fortress. We are back. And uh, might be a slightly brief episode today, if I'm being honest, because I think I'm developing another throat infection tonsillitis situation. So that's that's really conducive to the whole recording thing. So I'm not going to record for too, too long, but we're going to do a bit. So we've got these these uh, deception-y storms going up. We have new dwarves. New dwarves to add. New dwarves to add. Let me do that quickly. So meet Dubbo. Dubbo over here. She is blissful. She's having a great time. Uh, and who else do we have? We have Mac here. Meet Mac. Mac is... Mac's doing great. Everyone's great in this fortress. Everything is wonderful right here. Meet Bobcat, who has finished up some work and is very satisfied about that because everything is fine in this fortress. So Seven wanted to be a carpenter but we don't really have any spare carpenters so we're just gonna make you something unrelated and then you assign you to be a carpenter as well you are an adequate brewer but now you are also going to be a carpenter there we go uh, and let's check you're actually doing the brewing because yes you should be okay and you are now, Seven made some demands about having their own bedroom, something about not wanting to share five beds with 50 dwarves. I think this is frankly borderline treason, uh, given, you know, it's, we're a lava cult. It's, it's about negation of the self in some sense. You know, committing yourself to a higher power. That's what gives us our, our strength, is committing ourselves to a higher power. Also, it was pointed out that uh, the dwarves have foolishly constructed this bridge. Uh, so that it retracts and does not raise. I blame everyone else. Uh, let's also, well, I was going to do a little bit of channeling, but that's just going to tie up our miners for ages. So we're not going to do that. We're also going to build. Let's build a staircase so we can put a roof on this trade depot situation. Uh, we'll build some upstairs here. We will build some downstairs on top of the place where the, oh no, wait, we can't yet, but we'll do that shortly. We'll build some downstairs on top of the upstairs. Uh, and then we will build a roof on it. We're not gonna build a glass roof like we're trying to build over here. We're gonna build a roof roof uh, because then we can assert our dominance over the traders. It's like, you're in the dark, you're in a covered little room, you're in our turf now, traders. That's 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 a re that's a reasonable conclusion, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, and we've got our dwarves digging away at the native gold, which is excellent. Make some gold lava sacrifice things. Uh, and we're going quite a ways down, so this staircase may take a little while. Uh, so while that is going on, what is going going on down near the lava? Is this be this is not yet being dug out, which is a shame because I would quite like to start. Uh, making some sacrifices to lava uh, but we can't do that yet so we're gonna make these the decoy storerooms that they're so intended to be uh, we'll just make uh, some custom stockpiles uh, I'll go ahead and enable some things there we go go to slightly random stockpile but it's okay it doesn't really matter because this is the decoy stockpile the stockpile of deception of oh yeah what's in there just like some storerooms don't even worry about it uh we'll put some doors on as well <laughs> that sounds like a safe bet there we go it's just some normal storerooms don't worry about it and also now we have more storage space which is kind of a good thing what is this that's piling up over here a lot of bags and pots and things that's good i like bags because then we can use bags to make the sand happen yes Yes, a villain, we can use sand bags to make sand happen. Uh, on that note, do we have green glass? Can we like build some windows yet? Because I've been trying to build some windows. That's workshops, that's not windows. What is windows? Why? Why are they windows? Yes, okay. Get one window here, get one window here. We need two more windows. And then we've got a beautiful little tavern. Let's uh, let's actually build a floor in the tavern. Let's maybe make a little pattern. Let's make, it's gonna still be mostly stone because we're dwarves and that's just, that's just what is right and good. There we go. So we've got a nice little marble perimeter there and then I've decided to go for a central charcoal floor. I just think that's gonna be quite an interesting look. We have a lot of charcoal. 
I think this is going to be a beautiful little tourist tavern for us right here. Uh, you know, people are going to come to the fortress, they're going to go, wow, this lava cult, they've really got their act together. And we're going to go, yes, we have. And it will be a lie. Uh, but they will be convinced. There's a starving something over here. What is this? A goose. Why is the... Uh, you can go in this pen, goose. Or go in with the other animals, I guess? That would make sense. I'm going to move this goose real quick. Oh, we've, we've got some animals as well. Oh. There we go, we got some more nesting animals in the correct pen. Um, yes. Oh dear, we appear to have, during the course of mining, we appear to have breached the staircase, which is not ideal. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build construction wall. Uh, but I think actually instead of walling off the staircase, we're just gonna wall off this entire inside, actually. Uh, we're gonna use something made of stone. We're just going to actually wall this bit off and then have these cool veins where we can... I don't know what we're going to do with them. Maybe tombs. Although we're mostly just going to be consigning bodies to lava, I think, realistically. So I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we're going to we're gonna do something. We've gone to all the effort now of digging it out. There we go. I think I have boarded up all the spots. So that will actually be quite... That will be quite a nice little thing for us to have there. Oh, someone's... Murat has been possessed. What are you going to make for us, Murat? Uh, have you claimed a craft dwarf's workshop? I am excited. What are you going to make for us? Uh, looked over by the kobold corpse, of course. Which, you know, obviously we're, we're keeping fine thing that it is. Uh, oh, we can also build the downstair over here. Perfect. And then we will build a roof. And also maybe I'll rebuild that bridge if we're lucky. Oh, all kinds of productivity. Not sure what this, this yellow arrow means, but she appears to be nesting, so that's nice. Uh, oh, actually, there's a point. Let's go ahead and... Are these... Are they... I need to maybe forbid some fertilized eggs if I spot them just so we can actually get some more birds because birds are delicious. What are all of you hauling up from the caverns? I'm going to assume that they're just hauling up like stone from the caverns. Uh, masterpiece, masterpiece slate mug. Wonderful. See, this is what gets you your own kind of building, Seven. You, do, you don't just get your own bed. Listen, there's there's five beds. We got an extra one over here for our ethics and the state master, which is Tanglebeard, who is, oh, pondering source reliability. That's what we need. Our intellectual gets their own room and office. And the only other person is our mug maker. Who's made another masterpiece mug? Because we are in charge of mug exports. There's a point. Beautiful, beautiful little uh, shot of our propaganda. Last episode in the comments. Thank you. That's the, I love it. I love it. These are our exports. This is what we do. We make mugs and we sell mugs. The merchants are fleeing. They can't handle the amount of mugs that we make. They, oh, another, another masterwork mug. They can't handle it. The quality of the mugs, the intensity of the mugs. They just, they don't know how to deal with it. They fled. We are slowly, slowly, slowly adding green glass to our roof. Will we ever finish? Who knows, uh, quite frankly. Oh, we've got dwarves to sleep over there. Why, look, we've got a whole free, okay, okay. Maybe make like some more beds. Maybe just like, give me 10 more. We'll put them in the dormitory. Uh, we're still having a big communal dormitory. But yeah, that's what you need. Get, tell me your trade that you want and you can have your own bed. It's either that or having your own bed in a lava pit which uh, is really a very permanent kind of bed. Like, once you go to sleep in that bed, you're not coming back. But um, those are your options, Seven. Become a master of something very relevant or uh, sleep in lava forever. Let me know. Leave a comment. What would you prefer? Uh, oh, 25th Bam has grown up. One of our sacrificial child dwarves so that we don't murder children. Amazing. Very proud. Oh, there's a point. I was going to make a hospital. I, I don't know what why that's reminded me that I was going to make a hospital, but it has. Uh, we have now nicely walled off our staircase. How's that going? Are we Are going making good progress, it looks like? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, so we kind of needed a hospital. I was going to wait and build one. I am going to wait and build one in the in the new larvary section of the fortress. Uh, ooh, 
Now we'll add a temporary. Temporary hospital. Much like this entire fortress being temporary. Adding a temporary... I still haven't figured out how to make books happen because I feel like we've got some real... The Tanglebeard has been doing a lot of pondering and I think we could definitely get some... some no sand bearing items. We have so many bags and we have sand. I would like you to use your noggin there and we'll, we'll, you can put two and two together and I believe in you. Uh, let's actually see if we can build a window. No, we can't. We have not produced sufficient windows. Uh, do we have tables? No. So we're gonna need to queue, uh, we'll queue some tables. We'll just make like four rock tables with four rock chairs, which are called thrones. Actually, let's make wood chairs. Nah. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't fit the aesthetic, does it? When we got people coming to our fortress, we don't want them to, to think we sit on wooden chairs. Outrageous. Uh, so, table throne, perfect. And we will put them in our tavern. So people can come and sit in our tavern and drink alcohol, mostly. It's gonna be good. There's blood over there. Um, blood over here. Chicken blood. The chickens are fighting. It's fine. We've got a very densely packed room of animals there, so I can I can definitely believe that. Uh, what? How? Questions. Masterpiece willow bed. Very nice. Uh, I think something happened at some point. Besides Mr. Unlikely creating endless, endless masterpieces. Uh, reports. Chinchilla is fighting. There's a little bit of hunting going on. That's just sort of happening. Um, what's happened over here? Some migrants have arrived. Welcome to the fortress, migrants. We'll be sacrificing you in lava just as soon as I actually manage to build my sacrificial platform for sacrifice. The, the platform is not itself inherently sacrificial, but it will be used for the purposes of of sacrifice. So uh, until we have sorted the sacrificial platform, you will just have to hold on a little bit. But it's okay, we'll get there soon enough, I promise you. Oh, we can't do that bit yet. Just do that for now. Ah, perfect. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think I queued up some more nest boxes. I did, just to try and slightly alleviate the general pressure in the uh, poultry room, which, which there's a lot of fighting amongst the animals there. There's a lot of violence. Uh, we're gonna actually build some hospital things. So uh, we'll put a few beds in here, but we're also gonna save some beds for the hospital. What other things do hospital needs? Like tra traction benches? A doctor, presumably? Do we have a doctor? I don't know, I'll just sort of assign a hospital and we'll see if anyone shows up to do some doctoring. They can have a go, quite frankly. I don't really mind. Let's just fill some random beds in. There we go. Fun bonus beds. Uh, yeah, so I will make this like a hospital zone and we'll just, we'll see what happens. It'll be great. Hospital. It's a hospital now. Uh, so let's build a chest. Chest container. That's like a, that's, that's what we want. Oh, we've got a bunch. I think we stole them. Uh, which is good. Things are even better when they're stolen somehow. We'll put a chest in the future tavern as well. Not not like a, like a nice chest. A nice oaken chest. Nope, 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 yes. Uh, we'll set this to be a tavern now, I think. Just because we can. We're gonna set it to be a proper little visitor tavern. We're gonna put a little alcohol stockpile in there. Um, is it completely exposed to invaders? Yes. Yes, but so is most of our fortress at this point. I'm really taking my time on the whole securing the fortress thing. We could definitely be in some trouble, but it's okay. We've got a military of at least two dwarves, uh, and I quite thoroughly believe in them, personally. Let's make a new location. An inn tavern. Uh, the, the maroon lemon, yes, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and check the details of the maroon lemon. We don't have a tavern keeper or performer yet, but I'm quite okay with that. Oh, we can put some mugs in there. Perfect. Some of those delightful mugs. Uh, we have one box bag, dance floor. Good. Gonna do some dancing. 
stored instruments. I think we have some instruments. So yeah, perfect. And we're gonna make a tiny, tiny little stockpile. So uh, we've got a little booze stockpile. We'll just put a small little stockpile. Just put it in the corner here. Uh, and then dwarves can carry things over and refill it. I want to keep the bulk of the alcohol in the actual fortress proper because this is really just like a little tangent room more than anything. Uh, the animals seem to like it at least. Let's see if we can build that window yet. No, not yet. I've... It's fine. And we've got people coming over to use it already. Perfect. And then we've got our, our little chest. Is there anything in the chest? A water covering. How? 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 No, seriously, how did that happen? Uh, oh, everyone's carrying mugs over. The beautiful masterwork propaganda mugs. Bring them over there, perfect. Uh, lots of dwarves spreading out. I assume they're all constructing the ceiling roof floor. Uh, technical term, wouldn't expect you to understand ceiling roof floor. It's a, it's a dwarf fortress over, I, I, I don't know. I don't I started that sentence with so much confidence in my ability to finish it, but I was wrong. I'm sorry, I'm very ill. I'm very, very ill. Chups has become a full-time miner. I think Chups was mining already, but now it's official. You get a little badge when you become a miner, true fact. Um, need choir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, pressing slurry, let's see how the book binding, I don't really know how to make books. I've been trying, um, but I don't really know, I'm gonna unforbid these bolts, wherever they are, go get them back. Uh, I don't really know how to make books, so I'm just gonna queue up things that look likely, watch for the cancellation spam, and then see what happens. Es essentially. We've got quite, ooh, we've got a lot of bins. Human hair tooth bracelet, nail bracelet. Who, where is that? Who has it? What? I can't see it. Where is it? Who's, so I, one of you is wandering around wearing that and I'm mildly, mildly, listen, that's not gonna improve our image if you've got like human bits on your bracelet. We're trying to be good at PR here. We've got a lot of alcohol, so that's good. Uh, two flasks. It's not, there's not a tremendous amount of flasks. Uh, footwear. Oh my goodness, the mugs. So, only 135 for how many dwarves. We won't have to do the washing up either, ever. We've just got, we just, you throw away the mug, you get a new mug. That's how we operate here. Um, so I'm looking for, so quirks, right, that's not what we want. Quivers, how do I make books? Do we have the, the plant slurry? So we have these sheets, which I assume are the paper that we need. So we've made sheets. Uh, so what, what kind of, yeah, we've, we've got paper sheets. Uh, what do we need to do? Do you know what? I'm gonna look this up real quick. So to actually bind the book, I was gonna look it up and then I got distracted halfway through looking it up. Uh, so looking at this, in order to bind the book, we need the, the written on choir. So we need choirs. So if we go qu choir, make 30 choirs. Let's go ahead and stop pressing the plant slurry because we've, We've done that and we'll stop doing something else. Why are we making a finite amount of mugs? No, 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 forever. Mugs forever. This is the maximum priority task of this fortress is making mugs forever. Okay, thank you. Uh, green glass box, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if there are books to bind, I want books to be bound. Did, 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 did. We've got make choir already. I'm still gonna cancel the the infinite one. Okay, so apparently if I press Z, under the stocks screen is where we can find, under tools, is where we find choirs. I feel like we have a lot of the component part there, yeah. 
Yeah, I think we've got a lot of the component parts here that we need. Okay, so do I need to put the things in the library? I mean, I, I assume that I do. Let's take a, this is called the, the home of rock. This is the library one. We have a scholar. Do, uh, is it that Tanglebeard needs to be a scribe, perhaps? No, I don't think that's the thing. Uh, we have writing material. Right. Uh, we have... Huh. Yeah, we have writing material. We don't have any tables and chairs. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need... Uh, hold on. Are we making tables? We should be making tables. Yes, we just haven't. We'll try putting a table and chair in there. Maybe that's what they need. Maybe they need to, to, to sit and do writing. They can't just stand and write. Oh, uh, we also, I saw on the list that we have bookcases. So let's go ahead and actually put the bookcases in the library. I know, pretty novel idea. But I made them at like the start of the game and I still haven't put them in. Okay, beautiful. Love it. Uh, ooh, let's actually designate some engraving or some smoothing. I think this all already counts as smooth though. Oh, everyone is enjoying the new tavern. Look at them. They're having a great time. Let's go ahead and just engrave the whole tavern. I can't. Maybe you can only do that on pre... You, you can't just do that straight up. Maybe it has to be on like nice things. Let's make the dormitory a little bit nicer, shall we? And then we will also pretty up the library since visitors see the library and we're all about that marketing. Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, also, uh, units, nobles. Nope, that's not it. Nobles. Uh, and do we should have a, a chief medical dwarf. Said it. No one has any relevant skills. Okay, do you know what? We don't need medicine. Lava will keep us safe and uh, if they get badly infected, then I will put them in the lava and hope that the lava will cure them. And if it doesn't, then, well, it just wasn't meant to be, was it? Okay, no one wants to hang out in the library anymore. It used to be everyone would hang out in the library. Now we've got Tanglebeard all there on their, on their own, pondering source reliability. I hope you mean the reliability of our source of lava, Tanglebeard. That's what I sincerely hope that you mean. Uh, but everyone loves the new tavern. That is, that is very full. Are you, oh, you're all listening to a story. Oh, that's so cute. Who's telling the story though? Let's see, view activity. Uh, a dwarf became a baron of the board of oracles. Is that what everyone is listening to? Oh, that's so cute. Who's telling the story though? Uh, oh, how's your strange mood going? Are you like, are, are you looking for things? You have a hungry head, left wing bone, some more bones, some leather. I see. Um, do you know what? You're fine. We have like no children in this fortress. We have a lot of people who are ready to be named after dwarves, but they just don't have the thing. Uh, Ninja F, are you telling the story? I think Ninja F is telling a story about a baron to the entire fortress. And that is so precious and cute. And they're all going there to listen to Ninja F's story. Oh, I love it. Now get back to work, you lazy, lazy, useless, bloody dwarves. Thank you. There we go. This time the bridge will actually raise. Silly dwarves not correctly designating that last time. That was their fault. Oh, the story finished. It's all over. But there's some more socialising going on, which is going to branch into specific social events. So uh, we're going to keep an eye out for that. But everyone is super busy, which is good. I approve. Stay productive, dwarves. Okay, we are making decent progress on digging downwards. We've still got quite a ways to go. I just don't think these dwarves are prioritizing enough. We don't have many other mining jobs queued up, so I'm not entirely sure why, but I think we've just got very busy fortress in general, which is a good thing because I like having a busy fortress. Still no windows. If we get sieged, uh, everyone in that tavern is gonna get shot, but they're gonna die listening to a good story. So, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. And there we go. Who is building that new shiny shiny new Mad Marshman building our new bridge that actually 
raises in the right direction this time. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and I think that's all that my voice and throat can handle for today. Uh, I have been Seville and this has been Dwarf Fortress. Sorry, I'm slightly out of it. I'm just, I'm... You know when you're just, you're, you're here, but you're not here, you know? That's me today. So uh, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time and as we make more Masterpiece mugs. Bye.